Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So what I thought we could do today is um, some collage. I don't do this a whole lot on my channel because so many people do collage that I figure you guys, <laughs> you might be real sick of it. So, um, but I am gonna do a couple pages of collage for the um, Grungy Denim Journal, the second one that I'm working on. And another thing I've decided to do, I have this old vintage doily and I am dyeing some um, dish towel. This is just dish towel. And um, in the same, the coffee in the pink um, for ties. So what will happen is this doily will go on here. It's not gonna get glued on though. It's just going to be held on with the ties. So I'll attach the ties here, I'll stitch them here and back here and then they'll tie there and that'll hold this doily on when it's tied up but then when um, the person that gets this uses it they can just remove the doily and have the journal like that okay so that's the plan for the cover so then it will be all complete once that's done but we need some um, like journaling cards and tags to go in uh, into the pockets and so I just have gone through a bunch of my folders that have digitals from all kinds of places like this is Rachel Roxy Creations her uh, doilies um, that I have there this is from the Cockney Craft Shop which is Allie the Cockney Crafter these are from hers I mean I just have all different stuff these are stamped items um, from my friend Celeste she sent them for my birthday thank you so much that was so sweet and I'll, I'll leave links for everybody because I can't think of the name of her slash shop at the moment. I'm just drawing a complete blank on that one. So anyways, we'll just um, use this and look like this is from Wonder Bar Crafts. This is from my shop, my Etsy shop. But I, like I said, I'm just going through and grabbing stuff out um, to use it so this paper isn't just sitting around not doing anything. This is from my Spill and Tea. This is from my Spring Digital Download. So yeah, we're just using all kinds of random papers to make collages, but they'll go well with this journal with all these different uh, bits. So how you all doing? I hope you're having a fabulous day. And I know <clears throat> for some people this might be boring and I understand if you don't hang out for this one because I know a lot of people have seen me collage like a bajillion times, but I have a lot of new people and welcome to everybody new and everybody who comes back and has visited me for a long time. I so appreciate you guys. I especially appreciate comments. If you can please like and subscribe. If you like my channel, please do that. It just really helps my, <coughs> my channel grow, you know, so that would be awesome, awesome, awesome. And then it gets YouTube to put me out there more on that part like you've probably seen if you're watching videos where it says you might like these videos then I'll get um, listed in those more often if I have more people that like and subscribe and all those um, comment all those kind of um, reaction type things you know really help my channel so I would just really appreciate it. I know you don't always have time to comment and I totally get that. Like we all have lives. I totally understand. <clears throat> but if you do have time, I would definitely appreciate it. And I do love comments. I love to chat with you guys. It's, it's just fun to see what you think. So yeah, that would be awesome. Take some of this lace and this old peely paint. This is my Peel and Paint and Roses digital. So, yeah. Woodland Inspirations, I think. Is that right, Celeste? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name. I'm so bad with that sometimes. <sighs> like, sometimes the shop names just, you know stick right with me and I can always remember them and other times it's just like pulling teeth for me to remember. But she's got some neat stuff over there. She does a lot of um, die cutting so if you don't have a lot of die cuts of your own but you want you know different things to use she's got some some great things. 
Woodland Inspirations, I'm pretty sure, but I will, I will put a link in the description box so that you can hop over there easily. <laughs> It's got ladies on this side and gentlemen on this side, so I think I want to use a little bit of both. <coughs> Excuse me, still got the tickle cloth. I just don't know if I'm ever going to get rid of that. I'm going to cut off his feet because other, otherwise I will cut off his head, so it's kind of like... But yeah, I think I will just have it forever. <laughs> it's not that uh, surprising because whenever I get anything allergies cold anything the coughing it's always the coughing I told my sister I should have abs of steel with the way I cough all the time <laughs> we were talking about how it's probably from all the years that <clears throat> I grew up in a in an old Victorian house and just everybody in that area had fireplaces and the smoke you know whenever the wind would blow they they smoke and so and between that and then my grandparents smoked cigarettes in the car and everywhere. <clears throat> my dad luckily quit smoking when I was really little, so that was good. But I was just exposed to a whole lot of cigarette smoke. <clears throat> so I think it's just been a lot of years of that type of thing that have gotten me. I mean, it's obviously a little bit genetic, too, but we were trying to think of who else in the family has it. I mean, my son has asthma, so clearly he got it, too, but I don't know where I got it in the first place. <coughs> I want something under his face, kind of, because uh, there's like a lace edge there. I don't want to have to um, put a piece over his face. That's what I'm trying to avoid right there. I definitely have my times of day where the cough is worse. I don't know why, but in the afternoon and evening, it's the worst. I don't know if that's normal for this stinking stuff or what, but it's kind of brutal. <coughs> uh, let's see, what else do we have? Some buttons. is my buttons digital download. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Uh, yeah, that'll work. It'd be better if it went all the way to the top, but it's not gonna. Because I ripped it short. But I do try to use, when I'm collaging, a little bit bigger pieces, as you can see. Because this is all gonna get cut up into, you know, smaller tags and journaling cards and all those kind of things. Pockets, it could be. <clears throat> so, um, you don't need to use itty bitty little pieces. That makes collaging harder when you use teeny tiny bits. I mean, if that's what you're trying to do, like you're trying to get that mosaic look, then yeah, you gotta kind of do that. But if you're just collaging, then um, I really don't think that you need to use itty bitty pieces. I guess I don't really need that, but that'll work. We'll put the ladies over here. <coughs> yeah. I just find it makes it easier. And then what you can do if you're like, <clears throat> I feel like my pieces are too big, at the end you can add on some smaller bits of like something decorative like stamps or, <clears throat> you know, other kind of decorative looking pieces, and that will help you. So these, I often get questions about what I do with these book pages that I glue on. I turn them into journaling cards or pockets, you know, just do some collage on here, put a thumb notch, and it's a pocket, because you can cut them to whatever size you need for your journal. Or you can make them journaling cards or tags. You can fold them the other way to make the 
tag, more of a tag shape. Some of this script would look kind of good. Oh, I like that number too. I can get some of that. Right, let's see if we can do something of that nature. <coughs> Obviously, with a little bit smaller piece here. I don't need this. I can take off a little bit more of this. <laughs> it's a weird shaped one. I don't do these weird shaped ones a whole lot, but sometimes that's just how it works out. <clears throat> I'm so sorry for the throat situation. Love to be done with it, that's for sure. Everybody else is doing great though. Hallelujah. Thank you guys for all your kind words and prayers and oh my goodness, fabulous. So great. Because everybody's doing great now. My son went back to work yesterday. And yeah, it's just been it's been good. <coughs> husband isn't have a swelling face anymore <laughs> and oh my goodness that was crazy that was the craziest thing <clears throat> crazy crazy I'll wrap that off later but yeah that was so strange <laughs> My daughter's like, well, could you really tell that it was swollen? It was like, oh yeah, it was pretty obvious that it was swollen. <clears throat> it was weird. He <laughs> looked like he had his lips done. <laughs> is just a really super old book page that got shoved in a folder so let's get it used up and I'll stamp on these bits with some like Tim Holtz stamps or whatever for numbers and what have you tea. <laughs> My daughter always says that. I got tea to spill. That's how I came up with the name of this digital. <clears throat> she helped me yesterday with my Marguerite Miller collage too. I uh, said, okay, here's the prompts. What do we think? So we brainstormed about it and you guys will see uh, Wednesday what we came up with. <laughs> because I was kind of working yesterday it was Sunday yesterday for me and uh, <clears throat> cutting stuff on the Glowforge and whatever so we were just kind of hanging out in my craft room she was sitting at my table in here and chatting with me and so I was like hey help me figure out what, to, what I should do for my collage challenge so it was a community effort this time 
it'll probably give you guys a laugh. And see, I missed down there, but chances are, <clears throat> even if I cut like a tag, um, and I do go all the way to the bottom, I can just ink it. But a lot of times you don't end up like hitting the very bottom, the very edges, you know, with whatever you're cutting. <coughs> so I don't worry about it a whole bunch. I either go over or under it seems like, so yeah. Put this over here because it's kind of cool looking. <clears throat> I don't even know where this is from. I have a feeling it's from Rachel at Roxy Creations. I'm pretty sure it's one of hers. But I'm not sure because it was just in this stack of stuff. See, and these are just backgrounds basically, so you're probably going to add other things like flowers or like I might add a, a Tim Holtz person or some type of Victorian image, you know, lady or something like that. So, um, see, so this would be a tag. Um, you just, just think of it that way. It's just a background. You're just making a background. So you don't have to like super analyze every little thing you're doing. You just kind of can sit and put stuff down and don't really worry about it. Um, a good thing to do when you're first starting is like sit and watch a movie you've watched before or a show or something. And <clears throat> that way you're kind of paying attention to the show so you're not like over analyzing. And also um, you, um, you're not over analyzing what you're doing. But you can, you know what's going on in the show. So it's not something you have to pay such close attention to because you've never seen it before. But that's just kind of my advice for doing that. I used, to, when I first started collaging, I did that a lot. I sat on the couch and would, you know, like at night when my husband's watching, you know, Star Trek or whatever, I don't know, that I didn't really worry a whole lot about, but it also sort of kept my attention. Um, I would do collage and that really helped because then I didn't overanalyze every single piece of paper that I was putting down and I mean we all do that at times for sure like I still struggle sometimes but I really try to just stick stuff down because in the end like I said it's gonna all get cut up and you can add other things on top if it feels like it's missing stuff or whatever These are from Allie at the Cockney Craft Shop. I'm not sure which one of her kits that's in. Yeah, I have all these file folders of digitals, you know, pieces and stuff, because after I finish, like a journal, I'll put the extra pieces a lot of times um, in a file, especially if they're whole sheets, and, you know, file them. <laughs> so I just have all this, like, I need to start using that stuff up, because it's just sitting there. There's no point in this. So that's what I've been trying to do, kind of going through and pulling out things that'll work. <coughs> Even if they're from all different places. <laughs> <coughs> and using them. kits. I'm not, I can't even remember which one it is. It's one of my pretty early ones. I'll try to figure that out. And I know that seems crazy. How can you not know it's your kit? But 
it kind of becomes a blur after a while. <laughs> been making them for about four and a half years so some of the earlier ones it's hard to remember okay so there's one all done um, because like I said, when I cut it up, I'm going to add stuff to it. So, and I don't have to do the back because I'm using that manila drawing paper. So that's another, that's a handy thing to think about if you, I mean, if you're using up old pages that <clears throat> you want to use up, then of course backing it, you know, that's not a big problem, but I just like not having to do that if I can help it. So. flower is kind of big and the problem is it'll probably get you know ripped up and you'll have the weird stem or something like that <clears throat> I think this digital is 1893, if I remember right. I don't know, I try to remember that, to add it in the description box. <clears throat> and sometimes I start, well, I usually almost always start over in the left-hand corner, and then I move across. That's just sort of the way I do it. But every once in a while, if there's a piece that I think, oh, that would look good over there, I'll just, you know, put it over here. But generally, I start at the left corner and go across. But everybody does it different. Like, I know Gail does <coughs> her corners. So, I mean, just do it how it works for you. There's no right or wrong. It's just gluing paper to paper, basically. <laughs> And some come out better than others, and that's just the way it is. I mean, that's kind of like everything. Practice helps, for sure. Train the brain, train the brain, as I always tell my kids. Because they're always like, I can't do this. Like, yeah, you can, you just need to train your brain. And then you'll think later, why did I think I couldn't do this? <laughs> <coughs> It's so easy now, right? My daughter, when she first started um, marching band, her for when she was a freshman, and you know you gotta memorize the song and march, <laughs> and and learning to march can be very tricky. I mean, some people obviously pick up on it much easier than others. That's just normal with almost anything. You know, some people are just better at certain things, but. Um, <coughs> she struggled a little bit with uh, learning to march number one and then of course memorizing music it, that's very difficult to do and so she's like i'm never gonna figure it out and i said well let's just focus on for now learn to march you know learn that part because you know how to play music so like work on just the marching for now and if you can't play every note at least you're you're in it and you're with it and all that kind of thing so just try that <coughs> and I said once you train your brain eventually it will become easy and sure enough I mean obviously it became like her favorite thing in the whole world and the same thing when she started um what do you call it drum major she was worried that she was never going to figure out how to do that right and it's like huh, oh, you will <laughs> and she did it's like so many things. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, we've all been there. There's plenty of things I say I can't do too. But I really feel like you can train your brain to do almost anything. I mean, obviously, if you uh, don't have a voice to be a singer, you're probably 
not going to be a professional singer. <laughs> you can sing, we can all sing, but the sound that comes out of your face might not be great. That's my deal. I cannot sing. So, you know, obviously people are gifted at certain things, but I think you can train your brain to do a whole lot more than you might think. So don't get discouraged if the first time you do it doesn't work because that happens to all of us. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Trying to figure out if I want. I think I just want like a strip. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's summertime. I don't know. <laughs> are you bored because your friend's out of town? Yeah. <laughs> and now you're healthy? I want burgers. I'll go get burgers. Do you want burgers? Where are you going to go? I don't know. Where do you want? I don't know. Because I don't eat burgers out of a whot. lot. <laughs> I mean, we go to Holy Cow because that's where Aiden worked. But <laughs> it's like, other than that, I don't really know. I don't want to drive that far. No. Or spend that Oh, uh, yeah, money. I don't either. Hold on just a minute. All right, we're back. I figured that out. <laughs> that was a conversation I didn't think you guys needed to listen to us going, I don't know, what do you want? I don't know, what do you want? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> He's the burger kid. He likes burgers. I do too, we just don't eat them a whole lot because uh, my husband can't have beef, so. <laughs> I mean, we did go to Holy Cow, but they had a, a substitute, like a impossible, impossible burger. And some fast food has those too, but we just don't do that a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, and he likes those. Those look pretty good. He likes beef. Just can't eat any more because he has a cow, so. It's alcohol, beef, high fructose corn syrup. Those are the ones that just about do him in. <coughs> it's crazy how that <laughs> works. It's like, what you ate makes crystals grow on your the bones in your toes. Ah, it's just weird. <laughs> <clears throat> but you are what you eat I guess as they say better off not eating a whole lot of burgers anyhow <clears throat> I am bad about that because I have a sweet tooth from you know where H double hockey sticks That's my downfall, and I should not have sugar at all. <laughs> <coughs> I wish I was one of those people. I knew a teacher that I used to work with at the school, and she uh, didn't eat any sugar, none. I'm like, man, I know you can do it once. It's just, again, it's sort of like training your brain in a way. <laughs> but oh, I just love sugar. <coughs> I can stay away from a lot of the other stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna just use a piece of doily from Rachel because these have been sitting forever because they're so big. Cause I, when I first got that digital, I didn't realize how big, you know, they're like the full size. <clears throat> And I printed them out and was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what am I going to use that for? I guess you could cut them out and like use them in the middle of a journal or something. Never thought of that. See, sometimes these ideas just come to you. <laughs> and you think, why did that take so long? <clears throat> but anyhow, 
she'll also look cool as part of my collage. And it will be one less paper taking up room in my files. Did I decide this way? I think so. So instead of a, a scrappy day, I'm having a file folder clean out day. <laughs> because, wow, it gets overwhelming the amount of junk you collect when you do this for a while. And you hoard, and I don't know why I do that. I should not do that. I should just get things, and if I like them, use them. And I'm trying to get better about that. But there's some old pieces that I just cannot let go of, and it's so ridiculous because it's like my kids don't aren't into all that, and I, you know, so what? nobody's gonna want it. They're gonna be like, why did she keep all this? So it's like I should probably just use stuff. Or it'll get to the point where it's like, why did I keep this? I don't really like it anymore. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever do that? I did that a lot with scrapbooking. I like hoarded scrapbooking paper. And then like now I have some of it left and I'm like, why did I keep this? Or why was I so worried about not using this? Because now it's totally out of style and I'll probably never use it. Silliness. I'm just going to stick this somewhere because I like it. <laughs> That's what I do. See, it's that kind of thing you can add later and, you know, have something interesting on there. <clears throat> These were just sitting over here from, I think it was last week's Marguerite Miller challenge. So I'm just going to add those. I, I squirreled there for a minute in case you didn't notice. <laughs> I saw those sitting there and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you see the squirrel? It was it was there. Struggle is real. Hmm? See, even as I go along myself, my collages get better. Like if I just kept collaging all day, they just get better because I think it's just, again, we're back to training our brain and it, it just, once you get into it and really find some things you like using, it just goes, goes along real smooth. really liking the kind of pink and coffee dye look for this journal and the, a little bit of white here and there. Yeah, it was kind of great because I used um, that like kitchen hand towel and there was, you know, the edge sewn extra around it. And so I uh, I'm dyeing that, and that's what I'll use for the ties. So I was like, that's kind of good. I'm using pretty much the whole hand towel. This is my peeling paint and roses digital. I want to go that way. Maybe I'll go this way and do the corner. So everything's not so. <laughs> I do that sometimes. <laughs> but 
but yeah, I try not to do a whole ton of collaging because I feel like there's a lot of it and I just don't want people to be bored of whatever on my channel. And I think people tend to like it better if you just do it every once in a while because then that way it's kind of new to them again. And new to some people entirely, right? Let's go this way because that edge is flat over there. I took these photographs on the side of an old uh, church when my husband and I went for a, that was great, side-by-side um, -side ride, you know, a ATV ride. It was, it was fun because it was really old buildings with the peely white paint different boards and different textures. It was just really cool. <clears throat> we have not hardly done that. I think we've ridden once this summer because we got sick and this whole thing has taken like, I think we're going on our fourth week or third week of it. You know, between everybody getting it and everything. <sighs> it's just been. And plus we have Mormon Crick Mormon crickets really bad right now which we get them every year but some years are just worse than others and it's really bad and so when you go out in the hills you're just like driving over these Mormon crickets and squishing them and they stink and uh, it's just not great and they make the water stink and they're just lit <laughs> I do not like those things at all they're huge crickets if you've never seen them look up Mormon crickets they're ugh nasty nasty things and you run them over and they run out and eat each other they're just gross uh, I mean I know it's all survival and all that but yeesh, do not like those things they give me the heebie-jeebies <coughs> heebie-jeebies I don't know what I want to put up in that little tiny corner maybe I have a little scrap I can put up there <clears throat> Some of that textured, uh, just tea dye or coffee dye, I'm not sure which, but that I have run through my embossing. That's the word. <laughs> I'm like, what is this, pumps? Embossed it with an embossed, embossing folder. edge flat is fine. It'll work. Kind of go over this a little just so it stands out a little more. looking for glue stick. <laughs> it fell over. I couldn't see it. <laughs> I am feeling a whole lot better though. I will definitely say I haven't. Oh, how did I end up grabbing that when I came over here? Um, I haven't really felt bad. It's just that darn cough. It just needs to go. <clears throat> but I've heard it can hang on for quite some time. And I will probably be so fortunate to have that happen because that's just the way I roll. Uh, let's see. What little, I'm going to put just a few little things on there just because I feel like it. <coughs> like maybe over here. Just a little something. A little something something. Yeah, this is just, um... Tim Holtz stamp on paper that I coffee stained a little and then used some watercolor to get that little bit more of a yellowish brown. I'm really loving the watercolor with the coffee and tea staining and stuff. It, I just think it 
works great because it doesn't get stiff at all or anything like um, what do you call it acrylics can or like gesso can so I like that very much and then also I like to do like this old lined paper or um, old ledger is fun And this is out of an old uh, kid's math book, like from the 30s. <clears throat> I think that'll be good. And then when we cut them into whatever we're going to use them for, we can decide if they need other things. Let me grab my journal because I know what we need is this real long one that's up here. This one. I did go ahead and punch that bigger because I was like, I'm never going to get anything out of that pocket. <laughs> It'll be impossible. So let's see what's the size. It'll have people cussing. We don't want that. Um, three and a half. Let's go three and a half by seven and a quarter maybe three and a half by seven and a quarter <coughs> cutter where are you across the room like always three and a half by seven and a quarter where did I put the other oh my gosh right in front of my nose which one do I want to use? I'm thinking maybe this one just because it's got this longer section of the ladies. So I'm going to cut it here because I definitely want the ladies. This is always the part. And you can do that thing where you, you know, don't look, turn it over and cut it up. But I, I don't want to cut these ladies in half, so I'm going to look. <laughs> I'm looking. So, three and a half is going to be here. Which is kind of a bummer, because I cut that off. But I could use these to make small tags. So, that's it's not a loss. By seven and a quarter might go just a little tiny bit more than seven and a quarter just because I think it'll be easier to get in and out <clears throat> I didn't get really any of the pink but that's okay we can do something else with that too all right and then let's make sure it fits in our pocket oh how fortuitous they're on that side. I totally forgot those were even over there. That makes me happy. It fits perfect. All right. So maybe we'll, we'll just like put maybe a flower. I don't think we need a lot because um, I don't want to obviously just cover our, all those ladies up. But a flower wouldn't be bad. I'm going to do my little chomper. I like this. Even though they're little, it's a good tag shape and way easier than fiddling around with that whole thing. <clears throat> I know, you can do the whole credit card deal and, all, I, 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 and then I lose the card and <laughs> it's just easier for me to put this in with my punches and use it. <laughs> okay, a flower. Let's see. all this jazz sitting down there so that I can just grab it. Oh, she's adorable too. I don't know that I need another person, but she's so cute. Oops, those are upside down, Amy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I like that way better because then I can still see that, which I like. <clears throat> 
that wouldn't be bad. That would be quite pretty. And then we can put some lace up at the top for our nice, for our um, little pole up there. I don't think it needs a whole lot more than that, honestly. Because I don't want to be covering everything. Maybe I'll just put that little bit of lace. Yeah, like that. Okay, and that's that. That's that solved. <coughs> just add a little something to it. I don't know. I'm just inking around it. I know I'm going to cut part of this off, but I don't want to try to figure that out right this instant. So. And I'm going to use this, and I'll probably just kind of... Is that where I wanted that? I think so, because I didn't move it. Put a little glue like that, and then let it be. No, it's all dried now. <laughs> That's the one benefit. If you just let it dry, you can use it again. Okay. We don't want to cover up our ladies. But it would be good to get as much of the flowers on as possible. <coughs> It will dry clear, so I think that'll do it. And I'll just glue this on for now, but I will stitch around this. I usually like that fluff, but since it's super up here, I'm not going to keep all the fluff. And then I usually just put a tiny bit of glue especially because I don't really want to block her head. But another way you can do them if you don't want to like run into that <clears throat> is fold it in half, fold this in half, and then just put the whole thing on the back, you know, instead of just one side of the lace, you'd put both sides back here and just have it still stick up the same, but both sides of the lace would be back there. If that makes sense. <laughs> you guys are like, what? <clears throat> okay, there's that one all ready to go except to be stitched, but yay. Part of her nose is missing. I just realized that. It's <laughs> kind of funny. <clears throat> okay, what, 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 what? Somebody's grabbing. Stop grabbing. Stop being grabby. being grabby too. Now that's coming off. Okay y'all, what is the deal? There we go. Oh, I forgot that that's not great, is it? <laughs> to have that lace up there. I totally forgot about that. You know what I might do is just cut it down after I stitch it. Like I'll just and fray it out a little bit so it's not as big of a flap. That's probably what I'll do. <coughs> okay, duh, Amy. Oh, and these I just put, I think I showed you guys, but I just did some little tags and I added some paper down at the bottom of those. Where's, oh, and this one I added this little cutie. Isn't she cute? That goes in there. And this one I added this stuff. 
and a little couple of taggy type things. I think that's all. Oh, and I added the little house back here, the little house notebook. I just thought that's fun. And so I need uh, something for this pocket and this pocket. So I will continue work on that. Probably I'm thinking the next time you see this, well, no, on Thursday, we're going to do um, a different kind of a pocket. So I'm going to do one more pocket and then we'll do the flip through. All right. So I will chat with you guys again soon. I love you guys. Talk later. Bye now.